Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're working on a washing machine that will not stop filling with water. Let's go take a look. All right, DIYers in front of the machine now and what we are experiencing with the machine plugged in and off, meaning we are not doing laundry. Unfortunately, what's happening is water is making it through the valve and through the hose, in through the inlet valve and into the bowl which is not normal and very unsafe and dangerous because that can lead to a serious flood. What we're going to do is remove this top panel here. You've got a couple Phillips screws, one on each side here and here, and you've got a quarter inch screw on the upper portion on each side. Go ahead and remove all four of those. However, the very first thing I wanna show you, we still have the machine plugged in. I'm going to raise the lid and we've got the valves off for obvious reasons. We're going to turn them on and a constant stream of water. Again, the machine is off. We are not doing any laundry. That is not supposed to happen. Go ahead and close your valves. And we'll close the lid. Safety first, go ahead and unplug your power cord to your machine, cut all electrical power. At this point, I've got the machine unplugged and after removing those screws, you can carefully shift your cover panel down and be careful as you do this. You don't want to put any stress or harm on any of the connection points or wiring. Direct your attention to this part right here. Most of the time it is round and this is your pressure switch. And we need to test it and we have to remove this tie strap. And be extremely careful as you remove that tie strap. Whatever you're using to cut this, do not cut your hose. From here, we will carefully remove this rubber hose from our pressure switch. Making progress at this point, I've got the hose removed from your pressure switch inlet nipple here. And as you remove this hose, be extremely careful. Don't tug at it. You've got this electrical wiring and connection. Don't harm it. And the first thing we'll do is test the hose. And what you're looking for when you blow into this hose is no restriction. So blow into this hose and in the event that there is a restriction, this hose has to be removed, cleaned, and or replaced. And there is no restriction on this hose at all. Now, what we'll do is test the pressure switch. You'll blow in, you'll hear a click, and when you let go and pull your mouth off the actual pressure switch, you should hear a second click. Just like that. That is a perfectly normal and working or operational pressure switch. So at this point, we have verified that the pressure switch is good and our hose is clean and clear. We will reconnect the hose to the pressure switch and secure it with a tie strap. Hose resecured on the pressure switch and tie strap in place and tight and I'll just clip away the excess portion of the strap. Now moving back to the back portion of your machine. Again, our valves are in the fully closed and off position. These are your cold and hot inlets. These connect to your inlet valve that pushes water into the tub. What we will do is grab a wrench and carefully unscrew. We'll start with the cold and be advised, you may leak a little bit of water. So as we remove these hoses, I'll have a towel in place to catch any and all water that drips out. What we'll do is reposition the camera angle because we want to inspect the internal filter and make sure nothing is blocking it. All right, DIYers, there is the hot, and you've got a screen. Go ahead and clean that out. Here's what we found out. There is our blue or cold intake, and there is no screen. We have no idea where it went at all, I'll be honest. So that may be causing our issue. I carefully shifted the entire cover panel up and over. Here's your lid switch connection. Go ahead and carefully remove that and grab yourself a flathead screwdriver. We are going to remove these clamps and just by inserting the flathead screwdriver in place, you can actually push away from you and release these clips and do that for both sides. From here, carefully remove these and we can now pull this entire shell up and away from the washing machine. Be patient and be careful. Set it in a safe location. With the entire shell removed, you get a lot better access to everything. And this is our inlet valve. Here's your part number. And here's that cold water inlet and it's missing a screen. 
You've got a connection point here. And in the event that you decide to replace this entire inlet valve, scrolling above is a link to a step-by-step -step video on how to replace this exact part. Definitely check that out. Next, what I wanna do is test our water pressure coming in from the main lines. I'll test the hot first, and I definitely recommend this. Get yourself a bucket. And that is good pressure. Switch to the next one, open it up carefully. And there is no issue whatsoever with the incoming water pressure from the main lines. Next, let's direct our attention back to the water outlet valve. And due to the missing screen, unfortunately, it was allowing all the solids inside the water to continue through and unfortunately damage the shutoff valve over the months and years. So this shutoff valve is stuck in the open position and is probably failed and no longer ever going to close. So we're actually going to replace that part. New part on the left-hand side, it's got both screens. Again, there's the old part and it was missing its screen. We're gonna go ahead and install that. New water inlet valve is installed. As far as the electrical connection point, this blue portion right here, you wanna push down and pull out. Do not try to raise that tab and pull it over. Again, you want to push it down or compress it and shift it outward. At this point, I've got the shell back installed, mounting brackets secured, and the connection point to your lid switch is secured. And on the back side, just make sure you're flush with the seam. Be patient as you insert this shell. From here, we'll re-secure our panel, screw it in place, and connect the hot and cold water lines. Hot and cold water supply lines re-secured to the back portion of the water inlet valve. I went ahead and plugged the system back in. And what I'll do is open up the water lines and you'll hear the water flow. What I'll do next is pull the knob and start a cycle. And the water is flowing. Biggest thing is, will it shut off? And we have solved our problem. We're gonna load this up and run a cycle. Hopefully this helps DIYers. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. And again, in the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to replace that water inlet valve, definitely check out the video that was scrolling above previously in this video. Thanks again. At this point, we've got a cycle going and verify you've got no leaks where your hoses connect to your water inlet valve. It all looks good.